Hello everybody, welcome to Crafty Soup. My name is Misty. In my last video I shared my stack of load layouts and one of them in particular I said I'd have a process video on and here it is. And the prompt for this one was talk about your spot on the couch and what you do there. And so, and, and the technique prompt was to use fringe. So that's where I'm starting with this layout is to create these fringe strips. So on the back of the strips, I draw a line using my ruler so I can get a straight line. And then I'm just gonna use my fringe scissors to cut up to that line. And that way I will have an even solid border all the way around so that I can adhere that fringe to whatever I need to. In this case, I'm gonna adhere it to the back of my photo. And I'm just kind of stacking this fringe up and mixing up a few colors just to give it some texture and some color especially since this photo is it's pretty bland in itself. So I'm gonna spruce up this page with other textural and color elements. And I'm gonna go ahead and pop up that uh, photo on my page because um, that fringe does uh, create a thickness that's a little difficult. And then I'm gonna move on to the water coloring. So up here at the top, I gave myself some nice straight lines in order to write my title onto this page. And then I'm gonna uh, gently erase most of that pencil line just so I can barely see it. And then I'm gonna watercolor over it. And I'm just using a rainbow of watercolor paints. And for this particular technique, I'm just using the edge of this uh, wide flat brush. Now that edge is a little hard to go around curves, but uh, you can just kind of use the corner tip of it to get around curves and that is what it worked out. I did have to take a pause to refill my paint palette, which I haven't had to do in a very long time. So that was a little satisfying to squeeze out new blobs of paint into my palette and, and have a fresh, fresh row of color. So part of why I wanted to do this layout was because one, I had my paint sitting on my table and two, I liked the idea of creating this little target shape inside of the word spot. So that is what I am doing now. I wish I had, <laughs> just like I used those uh, pencil lines to help keep my letters on track, I wish I had used some pencil lines to keep my circles on track for this target because they do go a little bit wonky but I didn't, so in the end, I just have to live with it. And that is okay, that is kind of part of my process is making, making some things that aren't quite satisfying and then knowing for next time to do it just a little bit better. I do create that target with increasingly fading circles and for me, that kind of gives it a good place to stop. Otherwise, you could just keep going with these concentric circles forever. And then I go ahead and adhere my photo down once that base of watercolor is in place. And I use a permanent marker and a ruler to draw lines onto directly onto my photo and my background paper to these areas that I want to journal. And so I am creating little journal spots with watercolor. And how I'm doing that is starting off with a light tint of paint and then while the paint is still wet, I'm dropping in a heavier concentration of color into the middle of that uh, tinted wet area. And that will allow the pigment to kind of flow and bleed naturally towards the edges. So you'll get this kind of halo effect around the edges of these journaling spots. I am using a rainbow of colors here as well, and I do a little bit of color mixing as I go along to get uh, these hues that are in between the main rainbow colors. So I've got uh, a pink and then kind of a peachy pink, my orange, my yellow, and then kind of a chartreuse green and moving along throughout the rest of the colors as I go. Now I've got one of my favorite journaling pins here and I'm adding a little bit of extra detail both to my title and, and to run my layout. And then my cat decides it's time to step in wet, wet paint. <laughs> um, he was really insistent this time around. So I get him out of my way so that I can finish my layout. 
and I move on to just a tad bit of a finishing detail. Now up here I thought I was going to create some little fishtail banners up there, but I had a slip of the paintbrush and it ended up being uh, this little tail of, of paint details and I thought, you know what, that looks like washi tape. What a perfect opportunity to shift gears. Um, and I create these little washi-like strips up here with purposefully torn edges and I overlap the paint to get the translucent quality of washi tape works perfectly with the translucent quality of watercolor. And so on one of those close-ups, we'll see how those colors do end up overlapping. And that is just the right amount of detail. Now here you can see me, I'm erasing all of my notes that I created on this layout. I did write down all the colors I was gonna use as I went around this page so that I wouldn't lose track of where I was in my color scheme. So as we zoom into this close-up, you hopefully you can see those colors overlapping in that paint up there at the top and how pretty that comes out. And sometimes I just like to do these layouts that are just pretty color. And so that is what I did with this layout today. I hope you enjoyed a very gentle watercolor process. I will be back next week with a special inking technique that uh, one of the viewers has requested, so that is coming for you. Thanks for watching everyone, and if you got something helpful out of this video, I do appreciate a thumbs up because that does help my channel. I'll see you next time.